clicking the ring, exactly at the right of the subscribers box, below the like button to be notified about every new video. Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Monaco against Manchester. This is Peter Drury and I'm happy to inform you that Jim Beglin has joined me to offer his expertise. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. And so, the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. Look at them now. We're underway. Fabinho goes long and forward. Tries a through ball. Hits one! Who's going to make this theirs? Looks to slip it through. Yaya Toure. De Bruyne. Now the pass. Can he find a finish now? Can he score? It's in! First blood drawn. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. Manchester take the early advantage. Spoon forward. And they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here. It's all broken down. Passes it through. Falcao. Oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. <laughs> and that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you take back again. Looks like a good ball through. Aguero has a goal! Really well taken goal. And they get themselves in front! Aguero simply wasn't going to decline an invitation like that. He knows that they've got the passers in this side that will find them. And his job was just to make sure he didn't stray offside. And it worked an absolute treat.
Manchester take the lead. Look, he's the one everyone expects to put the ball in the net. That's what he's paid to do. Falcao. A chance! Saved it! Always going over the top. Directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Chance! Fernandinho gets it away. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Otamendi. Looks to slip it through. Aguero has a goal! Loose ball, who's going to get that? And the through ball is intercepted. And it's Falcao. Is it in? He's done very well to get to that. Well, I can only add that he's got... Re and the whistle goes for half-time. Well, it remains very delicately poised, and based on the, the promise we've seen through the first 45 minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes another twist or two. It certainly would be in keeping. Simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. for the first time. Well, if anyone in this stadium thinks they haven't got value for money, I give up. Yaya Toure. Passes it through. Has a pop! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. I think there's always that danger that the defence can get exploited in that way. That must have served as a real wake-up call to them. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Decent progress down the left. 
puts it into the middle. Has a swing at it. Goal, Monaco! And the comeback is complete. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's a simple game. The striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display. What a player. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Monaco go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Xiao Moutinho. Hit long and direct. Good defending, he knew he had to stop it right there. Falcao with the ball through. Chance to shoot. No mistake! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Yeah, I love the finish, but I think had the pass been delayed for just a second longer, I think he would have been flagged offside. And I think you have to praise them all round on that one from the pass and the finish. Manchester look as though they're about to make a change. Monaco take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Listen, it's up to them now how they think about it from here, because for me it's crying out for them to force the issue. Manchester holding a corner and the referee concurs. Managed to get it away. And it's Yaya Toure. Big chance! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Or maybe they're just feeling the pressure and trying a little too hard. You know, if the manager can calm them down more, I think they'll fare better. Loose, who's getting there? And out to safety. <laughs> Tries a through ball. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. And he's there to hoof it away. That's good defence. Uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Some clearance now. Can anyone get on the end of it? And now they can launch a counter. He slid it through. Thrust towards the front line. Now it's Aguero. Great run this. He's covered quite a distance. A oh, glorious footwork. Shoots! Aguero passes it through. He's had a shot. Shakes the shoot. They've scored. Drama at the death. Is there time for one more twist? <laughs> he was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic.
And that's that. Monaco have done it in dramatic fashion. A massive test of character, and they passed it with flying colours. A truly outstanding comeback by any measure. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Monaco have some very strong runners from midfield, and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that, but this was very impressive, the way they cut through the heart of that defence.